No, 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 no! So today, we are gonna be uh, making some templates for a jib boom. Jib? Yeah, jib boom. Extension for uh, my mini excavator. We have some uh, six inch by 10 inch timbers that are 20 feet long. We gotta get them up on top of a, a structure. And then we... Oops. Seven and a half inside. Outside doesn't matter so much because these are uh, these are five eighths, but we're gonna get three quarter. So I got a template here for my wedge coupler. I cut that out this morning. Went and traced it off uh, one of my buckets. These are weld on ears. I'm gonna get these this uh, on the water jet or a uh, plasma cutter or whatever. Ordinarily, you can buy these online or you can go to your dealer and uh, they'll sell you these. I think they come in three quarter inch plate and then you can just weld them on. If you're making a bucket or an attachment for your machine, you can make just about anything you want. However, for my particular machine, which is a Kubota KX121-3, these plates are not available right now and they have no idea when they're gonna become available. And I need this thing next week to put these uh, timbers up. All right, we gotta make some more templates for the plate. All right, so uh, I took the template and uh, traced it out onto another piece of paper and took it in to the steel shop and they, uh, they cut me some steel three quarter inch plate which is maybe a little overkill, but I think it's probably just about right. It doesn't cut it exact, oh, you can't really see it, but uh, when they cut, there is a little bit of deflection because it is three quarter inch plate. So the top here where they do the initial cut is perfect, but then it flares up just a little bit. It's not even a 16th, like maybe it's a 16th, but uh, it'll be good for what we're gonna be doing. I picked up the first load of three yesterday and it's too cold to work today so today's a good day to get it done but here's the first load six inch by ten inch timbers All right, so let's get started. So I need seven bites in between the ears, which uh, I'm about to take my three, thirteen seconds.
Okay, so we got it tacked up. It's pretty straight. I think that'll be all right for strength. Originally, this plate was going to be right here on the inside, and then uh, have another plate that was going to sit on the inside. Here's a little gusset. But seeing as how beefy this is, I think this is going to be plenty. Plenty strong. So we got our templates all welded up. And uh, it's time to attach a 4x4 four by, four by 12 foot steel boom to the front plate of this. And this stuff here, I think I got uh, 3 16 Then I have another tube. It's uh, three and a half by three and a half. It'll slide in uh, for a future uh, telescopic boom. Weld it up, ready for uh, ready for fitment and ready for lifting on the mini axe. Just about. Just about. Couple hooks, couple holes, good to go. Right there. Down a bit. Curl up. No, other way. Good. Down. Yeah, now forward. All right, try going down. No. Other way? Yeah, there you go. Can't see nothing, eh? I know, I know. You can't see shit from back there. It's pretty good fit, I oh, think. Oh, awesome fit. Where's our wedge? That's pretty good. Oh, I'm right over there. Oh, is there enough room there? Empty. Yeah. Bring in yes.
No, no, no! Okay, don't, don't move it, stop. Don't, don't touch it. Get done, huh? All right, can you move it towards me just ever so slightly? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're good. Ha, ha, ha. 